Today I'm gonna be painting all the Squishmallows that I pulled from this mystery box. Everything's a complete mystery to me. I have no idea what I'll be getting or what I'm gonna even do to the Squishmallows. I'm just gonna figure things out as I go. It'll be like a mystery challenge. Wow. Speaking of mysteries and challenges, can you find these two amputated Squishmallow body parts that are scattered somewhere throughout this video? Good luck. They're... derpity, they're... So here it is. Dear God, it's beautiful. Derp, 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 derpity, derp. It says original Squishmallows, so I'm guessing it's not a counterfeit. There's always a probability that it might be. But just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's fake. <laughs> It includes three 8-inch mystery Squishmallows, with the chance of one of them being Avery, who I already have, and I've already done a lot of things to Avery. But, you know, never hurts to have one more. <laughs> What the heck is this trash? I don't know what I was hoping for, but it wasn't this, that's for sure. Okay, the only saving grace is that at least these are a step above the sparkle butt squishmallows I won in the mini mystery squishmallow bags I opened some time back. Those were truly horrendous. Wow! Look how cute they are. I don't like them. I know. The first sacrifice I picked out is this dinosaur. He's a one in a melon. <laughs> Tristan the Triceratops. He's got a big defining nose, very in your face. Overall, he's pretty basic. Simple Squishmallow, which I like. That way I can add a lot of my own additions on him and make him more my own style. <laughs> Gonna get rid of the tag. Won't be reselling him, even though maybe I should. I know there's gotta be someone out there who'd appreciate Tristan. I'm not gonna amputate too much off Tristan. It's his lucky day. It's gonna be more of a hide as much of him as you can kind of day. That's better. He's got an unfortunate tattoo situation going on. I can't get behind it, I don't support it. So I cut out a little patch to cover that up. You guys know I love making creepy, cute, derpy looking things, so that's what I'm going for. Just the usual. I'm using my old faithful fabric hot glue to keep that in place. My idea for Tristan is that he's gonna be like a zombie Triceratops. He's back from extinction. He should have stayed dead, but no. He's decided to grace us with his presence once again. How unfortunate. I want this patch to look like an exposed rib cage. He's got a chunk bitten out of him, hence why you can see his ribs through there. Obviously this isn't anatomically correct for a Squishmallow or a Triceratops, but I'm not going for realism here. I cut out another little patch and glued that onto his head. It just looks like a white blob, but it's supposed to be like some exposed skull peeking through his head. He's been in a couple fights lately. Nothing Tristan can't handle though. Despite what he's been through, he's still smiling through the pain. A little too politely for my taste, so I'm changing that. I wanted to give him a new expression. He's a new and improved dino. He now has an open mouth, which might make him look a little too excited. And you know what? He is excited, because plot twist. He murdered the guy who beat him up, and now he's feasting on his raw flesh. Cute, cute. Nothing like an oddly satisfying revenge story. Karma always gets him. You'd think there would be some bloodshed involved with this whole dramatic situation. And you're right, there's been plenty of blood drawn. He's got a bloody rib cage, bloody lunch meat, bloody skull, and even a bloody nose. He didn't actually break his nose. The nosebleed is just due to stress. <laughs> I started off pretty simple with Tristan. I didn't want to go too overboard. With the octopus, though, <laughs> I might have taken things too far. You'll have to be the judge. Veronica the Orange Octopus. Dun 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 dun. I'm getting rid of all her identifications. She no longer needs them, and that's because she's no longer gonna be an octopus. Instead, I'm turning her into a houseplant. Dun, 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 dun. Obviously, some changes need to be made to her anatomy to achieve that look. Not an easy feat to accomplish, but I think I can do it. I noticed she doesn't have much of a neck, so I decided to strangle her with a shoelace. <laughs> Don't worry, she deserves it.
She still doesn't have much of a neck, but at least now I can fit her into this pot, so that's something. Things are coming full circle. I actually used to have a real plant in this pot at one point. That's until Sniffledorf showed up and killed every plant I had. Lots of dead plants everywhere. So now I can only have fake plants made out of the decaying corpses of Squishmallows. It's not exactly what I would prefer, but we gotta work with the cards we're dealt in life. I potted the soil with some lovely brown felt, a couple different shades. Wanted the dirt to look hyper-realistic. It's just kind of stuffed in there. It actually serves a dual purpose. It holds Veronica in place so she can't fly overboard. Also, it pretends to be soil. I'm all about the aesthetics. And I think you guys can already probably tell that by taking one look at my very impressive merch. I've got three designs. They're available for a very short time. Link is in the description. Anyways, this isn't just a regular sparkle butt kind of flower. I would never. This is a deadly carnivorous flower that belongs to the same family as Zombie Tristan. Oh. That might not be too obvious right now, but you'll see. They look good together. I cut out 10 million tiny little teeth out of white felt and carefully glued them into place. 328. A -M. I also added a tongue. That way it's more obvious that it's supposed to be a mouth. I'm not done yet though. She doesn't have enough greenery going on. Not enough leaves and vines and all those pretty floral arrangements and such. I made some leaves and things, even roughed them up a bit. I wanted it to look like an aggressive plant. It'll grab you and rip you to shreds if you get too close. So I suggest you stay in your lane. Thank you. And please subscribe. <laughs> Please. The leaves were looking a little too plain, too basic for my liking, so I'm adding some detailing with lime green fabric paint. No! Nothing too crazy. Just some veins running through and some polka dots sprinkled about to add a little flair, because that's clearly what this needs. And the last thing this needs is some googly eyes. No! Veronica's very dangerous. She's got eyes in the back of her head. She's always watching. I placed <laughs> I placed Veronica on the windowsill. Fingers crossed Sniffledorf doesn't eat her alive. I also got this thing, which I don't know if it's a Pop-Tart or a toaster strudel or what. Oh my god! According to its tag, it's a strawberry. Uh? Whatever. I hate her anyway. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but we're just gonna worry about that later. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. I turned her sideways, which was a little bit of an improvement, but not enough. It did give me an idea though. This is when the gears started turning and I started pulling all the felt out. Snip, snip, snip. I made a few little cuts and trims and tears and whatnot and ended up with a cat. Hopefully this cat looks a little familiar. You probably haven't seen him in years, but I think it's finally time to bust him out again. Cats are cute, right? People like cats. So here's Nian Cat. It's the best I could come up with for Fressa. Fressa just doesn't have much going for her at all. It's gross. I thought long and hard about this one, and this is all I could come up with. To make matters worse, I added some pepperonis to this masterpiece. I kinda had to add something because one of Fressa's eyes was still peeking through and it was creeping me out. <coughs> me and Cat likes to fart out rainbows. Can't forget that little detail. So I cut out strips of felt, all different colors. I glued them to Nian Cat's butt. It's like a little confetti party back there. Last but not least, wouldn't want to forget its tail. The only thing this has going for it is that it's not Fressa anymore, and I think that, in and of itself, is an improvement. 